Hi, welcome to Good Old RVing. My name's Greg, and I'm going to be telling you how I fabricated and mounted a flagpole holder, which also has built-in storage to hold the flagpole when it's not in use. And so, uh, first off, I used Conduit, which is designed for outdoors. And so here we go. Flagpoles. This is my latest and greatest right here. See it going all the way up. Yeah, this is real fun looking directly into the sun. Okay, so what I did is I got some uh, conduit at the, at the hardware store. I think it was Home Depot. I mounted it to my ladder. Then the flagpoles that you could buy, like at uh, Camping World or online or whatever, I slid it down into the conduit, left the bottom open, so if it rains the water just comes out, and I put a bolt at the bottom to keep the pole from going all the way through. So you can kind of see how I did that. And so you just adjust the height so when it's all the way down, it's below the height of the air conditioner. See right now I, uh, I'm not worried a lot about that because I'm not moving nowhere yet. So that's that. I'm going to go up on the roof and put my flags up I think. So it turns out the original time when I mounted this flagpole holder I built, um, I mounted it only to the ladder where you hold it with your hands to climb. And because I did it that way, what happened is the pole started to go crooked and you could see it tilting. And so right here I'm uh, removing and, and remounting the upper and lower uh, gear clamps that I put on there and I'm mounting them to the actual ladder mounts and so it'll hold it flat to the ladder mount and then tie it against the face of the ladder and so therefore uh, it'll be straight <laughs> that's my goal anyway and so uh, so now I'm gonna mount the flags up on the flagpole and so unconventional like other ones where you can do it on the ground with this one because the way I designed it you have to actually get on the roof of your RV and all this up and down with the ladder that's why I'm mounting a cargo box on the roof which is also below the height of the air conditioners and the max height of the RV can only be 13.6 and so um, with that said I'm only going to uh, make the flagpole when it's not in use. All I have to do is, because it's a telescoping pole, all I have to do is push in the little pins and drop it all the way down and it'll be below the maximum height. Right here I'm showing the photoelectric uh, lighting control. That's up on the roof and so if I don't Remember to okay. turn the switch off. So here's my flag light right there. You see I got it all wired in with conduit. All the way down there. Okay. As you can see the angle. It's right there. It's a floodlight. and that's the light sensor right there zoom out a little bit so this is the control panel I built and you can see the uh, flag light switch right there okay so this is my switch for the flag light so I'll just turn it on here okay and now 
I'll go up on the roof and show it to you. Okay, and that's the completed project right here. So I hope you got some good ideas. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, you could leave it in comments. If you'd like to have any more information, you can leave that in comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, this is your basic flagpole. It's the 20 foot pole. It has the base stand that goes under the tires, but I didn't like that idea because the pole would hit the side of the trailer. If it was too windy and I didn't want to have to pad it and everything gets crazy. So this is a more permanent solution that I came up with. Um, works for me anyways i hope you stay tuned and and uh, watch some of the other videos i hope you liked this one and i hope you have a great day so safe travels